Yeah, hi guys. So we are into now final 15 days to cat. Okay, and uh, let's not waste uh, much of your time. So we we'll already lot of uh, videos on strategies and all. Okay, so I just keep it short and simple. How do you give this final test to LRDI in last 15 days, right? So in last 15 days to cat, what you should do LRDI, uh, what you should do in LRDI to try and try to maximize your marks in cat on 28th number, right? See. Basically guys, uh, in in CAT, if I expect, so basically I expect five sets, so five sets I expect in CAT, okay, uh, I expect in CAT, okay. So in, in these five sets, uh, maybe the questions can vary, question can vary from three set, uh, three question to five question to maybe six also, I don't know, right, no, nobody knows that. So question can vary from three question to five question, okay, per set, okay. Now also uh, basically and I expect somewhere around 20 to 22 or 24 questions in LRDI. So basically uh, the first thing is we should not only target higher suppose one question one set has got five questions and the other set has got three uh, three questions right. So it's not like that uh, you should not focus on the three questions set because let's say you get like you get more greedy there let's target five questions set now okay and leave that three questions set. So maybe that three question set was easy and maybe this five question set you try it for some 15 minutes. Huh? Maybe this three question set you could do in eight minutes. So actually this is more fruitful, right? Hey, nah? So you don't know that. So basically don't try to run towards or don't be greedy. Okay. So don't be greedy towards only a uh, higher number of the sets having only higher number of questions. That's the main point. Just judge, use all your experience, try to uh, maximize your uh, the marks and whatever marks you have given, whatever practice you have done, try to uh, select the sets accordingly, right? Also in LRDA, what you'll be doing is, so basically, see, I'll just write all the topics name here. See, what I, what I want is, I want in arrangements. So in arrangements, I want all of you so, uh, or all of you to solve some linear and uh, circular, okay? And let's say matrix. So just touch all kind of sets. So basically, touch around 10 to 12 sets on arrangement. So what, what I want is, in these last 15 days, I want all of you to solve some five sets per day. So I want you to solve 75 sets before CAT. Okay, before CAT, 75 new sets, right? Very, very important. Okay, I'll just try the topic. So in arrangements, linear, circular, and matrix, try to solve some 10 to 12 sets. That is four, five in, on each, and a four, five sets, uh, like four, five sets on each uh, each part, right? So some 10 to 12, 15 sets again, solve here. Next should be games and tournaments. Okay, so in games and tournaments, you can solve some 10 sets, uh, touching all the varieties like round robin, you can also touch round robin, okay, tournament, then you can also touch uh, knockout tournament, okay, then you can see all the goal, goal balance tournaments, goal balance sets actually, okay. So I'm just writing all you uh, all the points so that it will be very easy for, once you refer this video, you can revise all the things, right, the thing is missed. So arrange, arrangements, game tournaments, now come to Venn diagram, in Venn diagram, Try to focus all the sets varieties on three and four set Venn diagram. Okay. Also try to three and four parameter Venn diagram. Also try to mix max and minima. Try to do few puzzle with having max and minima here. Okay. And try to touch roughly 10 sets here also. Okay. Now you have got 10 plus 10, 20 plus 10 to 30, around 30 sets are done, right? Now after that, pick some uh, DI sets. DI sets basically that in include uh, some pie chart. Okay. Uh, some bar graphs correct then it may include some uh, candle candle chart or candle diagrams the kind of graphs take care it also includes bubble chart okay so just try to touch all this so that you don't feel rustic in the examination right pie chart bar graph candle graph bubble chart line line graph okay and any miscellaneous graph you would, would, would have seen in your mocks right? so in mocks you may have seen some miss uh, new graphs just try to solve some around 15 sets here Basically, try to touch two, three from each each kind of okay. So that that will take care of all your typical DI, right? Then obviously quant based puzzles, right? So basically, these quant based puzzles are very important to just uh, move the set involving numbers, set involving AP, GP, and all. And like numbers, it may involve AP, GP, those kind of sets. Mathematical equations are used, right? Try to solve some around fifteen set because this is uh this should be this, this puzzle should strike at that time, okay? So now. But then with some 15 plus 15, 30 and 30, 60, right? And now miscellaneous, so you can just touch one or two. So basically you can just touch those a uh, few sets on uh, roots and networks, uh, binary logic, one to two set we will do the job, right? Okay, so maybe one uh, binary logic cubes, 
तो मे बी वन टू टू सेट्स ऑन ईच कैंड ऑफ टॉपिक विल डू दी जॉब ओके सो वन टू सेट वन और टू इन टू थ्री ट्राई टू पिट पुट सम फाइव सिक्स सेट्स इयर इन्वॉल्विंग ऑल दिस थ्री डेट ट्राई टू टच एवरीथिंग ओके बिफोर कैट अगर देन ट्राई टू सॉल्व सम थ्री फोर सेट्स ऑन क्रिप्ट एरेथमेटिक क्वेश्चन हैज कम प्रीवियसली ऑन क्रिप्ट एरेथमेटिक ऑल्सो इन कैट सो ट्राई टू सम ट्रॉ सॉल्व सम थ्री फोर सेट्स ऑन क्रिप्ट एरेथमेटिक ओके एंड फ्यू सेट्स ऑन सेलेक्शन ठीक है सो सेलेक्शन पे भी you can do some one or two to one two sets kind of ticket different varieties so you can touch all this right so just try to touch all these topics in the last uh, uh, this uh, 15 days and you should be good enough to uh, go to the exam so it's also 75 sets guys see all these topics you can do and you will do well right one one last thing also in exam very important thing is uh, don't waste time too much while scanning this set right so obviously apart from all of all these experiences uh the is how to how do you attempt it so how basically how to attempt lrda paper so while you are attempting that lrda paper make sure that your lrda paper uh you don't spend you spend less than 2 minutes okay so less than 2 minutes on scanning and just try to pick uh, uh the sets of your comfort zone okay just try to pick not try to pick all the five sets right? okay just try to pick some two three sets so try to pick some two two sets or maybe max the maximum three which you feel that you should start from these two sets right so there's a very high probability of solving it for example what i'm telling is if you would have seen cat 2020 paper okay so in cat 2020 paper if if you take example of slot 1 or slot 3 you can take that okay the four set venn diagram was what i'm talking about so you should identify that okay that four set venn diagram was a paper here also From CAT 2020, uh, CAT 2019, you can identify that uh, one set of crypt arithmetic was there. That was for addition, है ना? One set of uh, web spider chart was there. Okay, so these kind of quite uh, simple database, simple chart was there, right? This kind of set of data was there. So in CAT 21 also, I need to figure out which sets I am comfortable with, right? So basically, you all have to go this. This all you need to go with. Go with. cool and calm mind right it's all about more of a mental preparation guys right it's cool and calm mind don't panic okay don't panic in exam just remember that any war in the history any war in the history is never won after panicking or after getting after losing your coolness right so don't lose your cool never okay no war has ever been won in the history so just try to remain calm whatever knowledge you have gained whatever skills you have developed those knowledge and skills can be best used with cool and calm mind only okay so just try to do do well guys so basically just try to have a track in last 15 days of all the topics which i told all the points i told and you should and back yourself most important thing is back yourself to solve two sets in lrdi so if you my bet is if you solve some two sets of 7 to 8 question in lrdi you definitely in that 93 94 plus category for sure in percentile okay and after that you never know what two or three extra question will go to 99 plus okay so that's why back so just study well and just back whatever is the score in mock mock is gone right okay now just focus on the on the exam just two or three sets back yourself to solve two sets in lrdi in cat okay if you back yourself to solve two sets you will never be like getting around 60 70 percentile so the that kind of score like 95 plus in quant or 98 plus in quant or 95 plus in verbal and then 17 in rdi no calls right so if you solve two sets then you are in that 90 plus 94 plus 95 plus zone okay depending on difficulty and how many questions you solve right so pack yourself to solve two sets in cat okay so just prepare well last 15 days all the best